Hey guys, today we are going to tackle an issue that I have on my to-do list. Let's just jump over here. This is my repo and I have a pie hole issue. So there was a breaking change in 0.99. Uh, if we look at it, this links right to it. There was just a small change where we can, we can basically strip out a ton of the YAML configuration and then just add in some simple configuration. So this should be a very quick fix, a very easy fix. Um, but thanks to everyone who's been dropping me comments to let me know that my pie hole section was broken. So now I'm getting around to fixing it. So we're gonna shoot over to Home Assistant, if we look at our notifications, we can see that the pie hole sensor was in fact broken. We tweet out various little messages about pie hole and that's where people had saw that some of the errors were coming up. So we're definitely gonna fix this. Let's fix this right after the break. So let's bring the Home Assistant files in. I have a pie hole package right here. And what we need to do, this is pretty straightforward. If we look at the documentation, I'm gonna swing this this side. We basically just have to bring it down to just the bare minimum. So this will be the bare minimum, which will be pie hole, host, SSL, and verify. So we're going to have to pull it out of the sensors. It's now its own thing. So what we will do is we will do, and I'm gonna swing this over a little bit. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna enter, enter. We're gonna make this pie hole. And now we're gonna grab this information. Copy, paste. So now we have host, SSL, and, and we no longer need any of the monitor information. So now we can take this entire thing we can comment it out for now. We still need the sensor. I'm gonna bring, uh, we still need the sensor so that our template sensors still work. So what we'll do is we'll just, once, once I restart Home Assistant, uh, we can take a look at what sensors are still there and what sensors are created, and then we can fix all our tweets. So this is pretty quick. Let's go ahead and connect to Home Assistant. Actually, we'll do it through here. Let's bring this big big and let's go to configuration server control and then we're going to restart so one of the great things about using the restart under server control is it will do a quick configuration check to make sure your configuration is uh, valid so i wasn't even paying attention mine is not valid so if we go here i made a pretty rookie mistake and I typed in pi hole, it's actually pi underscore hole. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add back in our location. I think that might be what's going on. Too many times, one more time. There we go. So that should fix that. We're gonna hit save, and now we're gonna click restart, and now it's gonna restart. So now that it's back, we're just gonna take a look at our pi hole. And there we go. We can see all the sensors now have information. Uh, let's go take a peek at one of them. So let's look at this one in our code. Uh, let's look at this. So I believe all the entries are the same. So pi underscore DNS unique client, perfect. So that's it. This was a quick one. This should fix everything. Uh, save it, restart, pie holes done. Uh, and this is one less issue that I have. Thanks for everybody for letting me know that it was broken. If you're not following the house, it's on Twitter at Bearstone HA. Okay, see you in the next one. Bye.